And it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Hey, hey, hey. What up, y'all? In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of information that I wish I had before I booked my corner suite rooms here at Aria. This useful information pertains to the various floor plans of the Aria corner suites. And uh, keep on watching because this information was very tricky or difficult to extract from Aria resources. Plus, I didn't see anything on YouTube on this. Here, I'm down on ground floor uh, near the Vidara Towers. And right below the tram here. Technically, there are up to eight different configurations for these corner suites, and the tricky part is they're all named the same, corner suites. These eight different configurations branch out of two different main floor plans, and that's all we need to focus on for now. Floor plans for these two main room types are drastically different, and since they share the same name, it's a random room assignment process at time of booking. For the sake of this video, we'll differentiate the two room types by calling them room type A and room type B. And then later on, I'll also show you what a corner suite panoramic view means. So at the end of this video, you'll be armed with information to at least request for a particular corner suite room that you desire. This is room type A. That's the living room. And that portion is the bedroom. And that light is the bathroom. The other corner suite, that is the hallway, okay? This is the end of the hallway. And then let's take, let's take that one example right there. That's the hallway, you enter. So you enter, that's the living room. Okay, so you have the smaller living room, but that's the bathroom there. And that bathroom extends to the other side. So the tub there could see out the other side. And from the tub, you're, you're looking at over there. That makes any sense okay and then the bedroom is on the other side also facing the same direction i just showed you okay so that corner suite is i don't know you get more of an angular view than than the ones on this side this these these suites have the bigger larger living room with the dining set that seats three that has a smaller living room but a much larger uh bathroom and a slightly bigger bedroom. But the bathroom is a key point. That's the big difference. All right, now that you have the general picture of how this works, let's take you inside and show you the two main room types. All right, come in from the elevators, and this is corner suite, as what we marked it, as type A. Keep in mind, there could be up to six to eight different configurations of these corner suites, and I'll show you two distinct ones that all the other variations branch out from. The other one being what we call Type B, which is at the end of the hallway on the right side here, which I'll show you in a little bit. All right, let's check out this one. Again, Tower Suite. Bam, you walk in. It's a one bedroom suite. Walk in, obviously this is the half bathroom. Kind of some mirror action. Okay, Is it a Toto? It is a Toto. Cool. Now, I just immediately I noticed the layout, layout is totally different from the suite, the one I pointed out. The living room is more spacious here. I think the overall square footage is comparable, both of, both of them being around 900 square feet. Now, the other one did not have this dining set here. So the living room, right off the bat, looks a lot more spacious than the other one. So hey, don't hit your head on this, it's, it's eye level. Bar area there. Let's check out what they got. Bar area. Bam, some goodies, huh? Alrighty, cool. And the fridge. Is it making ice? Nope. It's not making ice. Hello? Make ice. How do you how do you get it to make ice? Oh, do you bring it down? I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> cool, let's move on. Bam, some brown seating, some brown chairs, some brown tables. I 
think uh, I think this room is sponsored by UPS. What do you think? No? All right, cool. Some drawers here. Ooh, some postcards if you need to mail someone something, huh? Comment below, I'll send you one. Right. One of these days, I'm gonna find something in one of those drawers. Hey, who's that? I don't know. Little, little medium-sized TV. Okay. And this is the view of the living room, guys. Cool. So brown is a, is a theme here, huh? So if you like brown, doo-doo brown. Come, come to Aria. Hit me up, roll through. Ooh, some sliding door. I like that. Yeah. It's like you get privacy, but you can kind of see through, but you can't. So stop looking, all right? All right. Okay, sorry. So I hooked the left to something in Lewis. Our bedroom this way, and then right side is a bathroom. Which way should I go? Push the like button and I'll go left. And if you push the subscribe button, I'll go right and left. I don't know. All right, cool. Mirror there. Oh, who's that? Up there? That's an interesting lamp placement. Some drawers. I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm gonna open this and you're gonna find like a stack of cash. Bam! Okay, so right off the bat, this bathroom looks totally different from the other suite room, uh, the corner suite. Come on. Some digital toilet here. So, okay, if you're into that kind of stuff. All right. Standard stuff. Okay. In a Burger King bathroom. Cleansing bar, cool. Okay. Some of that. Here's a walk-in shower. Okay. All right. And then you have the tub. Does it have jets here? I'm not sure. Wow. Ooh, it does. This is like you're in a boiling water. And you get a little TV from there, huh? Ooh. Now, if you bust the left, you see that awkward layout, and then you bust your right. Let's go to the bedroom. I feel like we've been to the bedroom already. No? Uh, oh, that's that's my bag. Okay, just a little closet, just big enough to make it uh, worthwhile. And it's cool. A little cute little TV. Yeah. The room is not large. It's just big enough to fit this king size bed and the two of you. But uh, at no point did I feel claustrophobic or cramped in because when you look outside this expansive window, it makes you sort of feel like you're floating outside. And it does feel spacious in here because of that. And surprisingly, these layouts are not the panoramic view options. More on that later. Okay, that's the massive. Come on. Cool. Those are, that's palms right there. Uh, so this is a living room here. Okay. And then I guess you get the view of the the mountainside. Okay. Okay. And then you get Vidara. What's up, Vidara? Check out my Vidara video for more ideas. If you need to go to Bellagio, you gotta walk out of Arya and then walk over to Vidara. You gotta go into Vidara and then you walk over to, uh, over the bridge to Bellagio, okay? That's how you get to Bellagio. Let's give you a quick look of the view situation from the room. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too crazy. I guess you get a view of the, of the pool maybe during the day or some, something like that, huh? Uh, other than that, This is what it is, huh? So, this is the view you'll get if you're in the tub. Hey, I'm in the tub. Bottle full of pop. Okay. And the bedroom. Okay. 
Now, I would take this room over the other one if this, I'm on the bed now, right? If this is the view that you're looking for from a bedroom. Uh, you, I'm laying down here and you're looking straight out with these expansive windows. And it's just, it's just a view. <laughs> and uh, if you're drunk enough, and if you lay down here in a certain position and look out, it does feel like you're flying a spaceship. Uh, at least for me. Now let's check out Corner Suite Type B. So all the corners understandable because all, all the way at the edge. <laughs> okay. Okay, at least I'm all the way at the edge, huh? Okay, here we go. Cool. Oh, this door is a lot lighter than the one that they had Cosmo. Okay. It's, that's, that's opening up on its own. So right away you see a bathroom here. Okay. Oh, look. It's another Toto. Okay. Just, it's just a little bathroom. Fantastic. Walk in. Eh, okay. It doesn't feel too spacious. But, uh, yeah, you got the uh, big old TV blocking the view. So I don't know if it's a little awkward situation here going on. Uh, it's off-centered for a reason. Okay. Keep in mind, if you're upgrading to the panoramic view, this is the floor plan you're most likely going to get. This is the uh, Cosmopolitan pool at the Chelsea building. Okay. A little side area here. So, okay. The beam column. Oh, this is heavy. Also, some of the rooms are being renovated to look like this. Awkward. Picture courtesy of SoCal Gambler. Thank you. To the right. You got the, uh, open this. Okay. All right, let's move on. And then, oh, you get some ice. ice here. And keep in mind, most, if not all, panoramic view corner suites will have this floor plan, but with a better view or more clearer view of the strip. Since Aria is tucked away behind the strip, the view of the strip is not the greatest, and it's not so much better than the one you'll be seeing in this room. I wouldn't pay extra for the strip view here at Aria. It's not that great. Little closet here. It's been reset, but I don't know how clean the room is. There's all sort of watermarks. All right, you get a little TV. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm silent here because I'm trying to detect the, how clean the room is. Am I being too picky? Perhaps. Okay, so. A little walk in shower, a little tub tub. I guess you could lay down on this one, unlike the one they had at, at Cosmo. Okay. So, oh, what's on the side? Oh, okay. Just uh, glad they have another toilet here. Perfect. Okay. All right. Just push it one time. So hopefully, it opens. For a clarification, this is not the panoramic view room, but the panoramic view rooms will have this floor plan for the most part. All the lighting and curtain controls can be initiated through a touchpad. But, you know, I'm old and I don't know the, uh, how all this works. Okay, you get a little bit of the strip view here. Okay, just the view dynamics totally changes from daytime to nighttime. Okay. So you can see all the way here. A little awkward space here, but, uh, okay, so th there's a little, little, Dead area here, I guess because of the column, but I guess you just walk here and just do like a catwalk, huh? Wee! Meow! Old catwalk. And now over here, you're, you're behind the sinks. You see those sinks? Ooh, look at this. This is an oval shaped mirror. You see that? Right here? Huh. Hey guys, comment below what you think this uh, mirror is for. I don't have a clue. 
catwalk situation. Okay, Cosmopolitan. Okay. Again, the pool at the Chelsea building here at Cosmopolitan. Okay, cool. All right, I think you get the idea, huh? So, and this is the mirror. That's a two-way mirror. And a different kind of meaning, right? Two double-sided mirror, because that's the mirror on this side where the sink's at. Um, all right, so I think you get the idea. So let's walk back, this narrow. Okay, you kind of have to blade yourself through it. But here, I'm coming to the front door. I'm gonna open the door, check it out. As, as you walk out, that's the hallway. At least start in the hallway, so then just walk all the way down to your elevator quarters. All right, here's the door. Boom. Okay, that's what you see. That's a TV there, which is awkwardly, awkwardly positioned. And if you have a seat, this is kind of your view. Hey, a little TV action there. And I don't know, is that Summerlin? Like what part of Vegas is that portion? Okay. Oh, that's awkward. You get to actually see through the other hotel rooms. That's a room in type A. Uh, uh, that's weird. Like, can you see? I don't want to be a peeping Vegas Tom, but okay, just be wary of that. This is the point of the video here is to showcase the uh, the view situation. Um, here's the bedroom. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Planet Hollywood. Okay. So I guess this is Chelsea. That portion, that's the uh, the boulevard, and I stayed pretty much right there. This is the Terrace one bedroom suite at the Cosmopolitan with their standard view, no extra fee for this view. Plus, overall wise, it's cheaper than the Aria's corner suite. And it'll still be cheaper even if you pay extra for a view like this. All right, back to the Aria corner suites. These are the pros for both type A and type B. And I'll provide video links to comparable suites to this Aria Corner Suite, such as Vidara Corner Suites and Bellagio Suites. And I'll provide video links to a series of restaurants here at the Aria for you to consider. All the video links will be in the description box below, and I'll make a playlist of Aria restaurants. Yes, sir. And uh, if you made it this far, please let my YouTube bosses know by pushing that like button and uh, comment. Uh, feel free to ask any Vegas related questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. And please subscribe. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoy this one. Thank you for watching and please come again. Bye bye.